So you want to make a molasses fermentation for a tasty rum, but you heard something about sugar calculations. Let me go show you what I use. Hey everyone, Distiller Craning here, one of your favorite home and hobby distillers. So today I want to show you the sugar calculations I use for my molasses fermentation. Now being a home and hobby distiller, you don't really need to use the calculations, but if you want consistency, especially in commercial, sugar calculations come in handy. So when you buy your molasses, look for the certificate of analysis or your specification sheet. If you do not have one, ask your supplier to get you one. It really helps. On it, there's a lot of things that listed like arsenic and copper and pH but we are looking for two specifically. We are looking for the refractometer sugar that's going to be our total sugars or your total bricks and we're also going to look for total sugars invert that is your total fermentable sugars or your total fermentable bricks. Now on this spec sheet that I have for my trickle 3 molasses that I bought a, few, a while ago I have my refractometer solids at a 76.8% so that means my total bricks is 76.8% and my total sugars invert is at 42.51 so that means my total fermentable sugars is only at 42.5% so out of that 76.8% total sugars in the molasses only 42.5% is actually fermentable so that means we want to work out what's the total amount of molasses we want to get to the same potential alcohol percentage that we want. Now for that we need to know what yeast we're going to use. The yeast that I use has got an alcohol potential of 16%. That means that it can tolerate up to 16% of alcohol in your wash before the yeast will start to overstress and can actually die. Some yeast are lower and some yeast like champagne yeast even goes higher up to 21%. So I'm going to use my yeast at 16% target alcohol percentage with the spec sheet that I have in front of me and then we're going to work out how much molasses we going to yeah, how much molasses we're going to need. So I use two types of calculations. So the first sugar calculation that I use is my sugar to add. Sugar to add is the amount of sugar that I need to make my fermentation with the specific volume I have, with the target alcohol potential I have. So I've got sugar to add equals 17, that's my constant, times my volume, times my targeted alcohol potential. Now with that, we're just going to calculate first how much sugar we need. Now the second calculations, we're going to use that sugar to add we just calculated, and we're going to find out with the molasses and with the total fermentable bricks we have, how much of the molasses we actually have to add. So we're going to have sugar equal to sugar to add divided by the total fermentable bricks. So now it's time to get out our calculators and do some calculations. So first up, we are going to use the FTA equals to 17 times volume times target alcohol potential. So I'm going to take sugar to add equal to 17 equal to the volume, that's our 22.5 that we want with our headspace and the bucket we have times the 16 of the targeted alcohol potential of our yeast. There you can play around depending on what yeast you're going to use, but I'm going to use 17 times 22.5 times 16. Let me work it out. So we got 17 times 22.5 times 60. We come to 6120 and we're going to measure it in grams. So that means for our 22.5 liters of wash at a stew, to have a desired or targeted alcohol potential of 16, we need to add 600, 120 grams of sugar or 6.12 kilograms of sugar. But how much molasses is that? Now we use this second one. So our second calculations, we're gonna use sugar equals to the sugar to add we just calculated divided by the total fermentable bricks of the molasses. On my spec sheet, we have it at 42.51. We want it in the decimal form, so we're going to have it at 0 0.4251. Alright, now let's get that into our calculation. So we have that 6,120 grams, 
divided by 0 0.4251 and we get to 14,396.6. We're going to round it off to 14,397 grams of molasses or 14.397 kilograms of molasses. So that means with this trickle 3 molasses, with the spec sheet I have, I must add 14.397 kilograms into my bucket, add the rest of the water to 22.5 liters, and that will give me a target alcohol potential of 16 if I have a good and successful and great fermentation. Now, you can just put the molasses in and fill it up to 22.5. You can take the molasses you have, see how much is that in liters and subtract it from your 22.5 liters and know how much water to add. But I like calculations so I take it a step further. So I buy my molasses in a 25 liter blue container that adds up to 35 kilogram. So that means that 25 liters of molasses equals to 35 kilograms. So if I take my 25 divided by 35, I get to a ratio of 0 0.714. So I know I need 14.397 kilograms of molasses. I times it with that ratio I just worked out, times 0 0.714, and I get to 10.279. So it means that 14.3 397 kilograms of molasses equals to 10.279 liters of molasses. Then I just say I take my 22.5 liters of the total volume that I have minus my 10.279 that I've just worked out, meaning that my water to add is going to be 12.221 liters. So then I know with this amount of molasses, get it into the bucket. Add another 12.221 liters of water, give it a nice stir, make that happy home for the yeast to have a great fermentation. Go check out my last video of how you can do it. With all of that, you can have that great fermentation and you can push it up to that 16% targeted alcohol potential. Now, not, it not always goes to that 16, but at least you know you're going to push it as high as possible to get it there. Now this is how I do my sugar calculations for molasses fermentation with my spec sheet. I will add a link below for the website to this league where they give a more broad explanation of how to use sugar cal calculations and in different ways. This is just my simple and effective way how I do it and it works for me every time. That's all I have for you today. I hope the explanation helped you guys. For any further questions, drop a comment down below. And as always guys, remember to be awesome, to be kind, and be yourself. Cheers.